Hi. On the right are two images. While you play this video, you'll need to click on the images to enlarge them. First of all, the top image to the right. What we're first going to talk about here is a little screenshot from Wikipedia. And obviously we're talking about genres on this page. And um, this is of Martin Gretsch's Wikipedia and it says his genre is experimental rock, progressive metal, instrumental rock, alternative rock and dark ambient. This is in to some, you know, some cases and some degree right. But his music now, the stuff that I'm doing, is not at all kind of metal or rock. It's more kind of alternative folk towards, you know, some of the some of the Radiohead stuff, kind of exit music for a film and stuff like that. Um, and also, I have a screenshot from his um, bit on iTunes where it describes his music as only rock. Both of these are wrong. Um, this is proven by the fact that here, um, on his Spotify page, I've enlarged a bit which says his music is related artist is Philip Silway, who is in fact the drummer for Radiohead. And although, yes, Martin has done rock and he has experimented with metal and stuff, this genre that, you know, the music that I'm doing of his is not that. Okay, the bottom image is a piece of text taken from the music site Last FM, which says Martin Gretsch, pronounced Greg, is an English singer, songwriter, and musician from Alsbury, Buckinghamshire. He is best known for his dark and powerful music. See, that's that's a hint to genre there. See, but they, they've all hinted to dark and powerful and remarkable voice and his frequent subversions of style and genre. That's key there. So he isn't, you know, he, he does experiment in different genres. He's not tied down. Um, it then goes on to to compare him in places to the work of Radiohead, Nine Inch Nails and Jeff Buckley. Nine Inch Nails towards more where his kind of metal, kind of dark ambient genre of music goes to. And then Radiohead towards the more kind of alternative rock and Jeff Buckley alternative rock and alternative folk. This here I think overall gives us a wider view of what genre he actually is. Although experimenting in many genres the song that I'm doing is kind of a more more similar to Jeff Buckley, a little bit of Radiohead, so it's more kind of alternative folk, but also because everything is considered rock these days, it is also alternative rock, just because that is the more wider genre that he dabbles in. So that is Martin Gretsch's genre, I guess.